So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be doing more of a general style reading um, where we just see what's around you. So let's get into it. If you would like to see more of my readings, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like to see daily tarot messages from me, um, from my Twitter or Instagram, or book a session with me, check out the Linktree link listed below in my description box so that you guys can find all the links to my social media as well as my website if you want to book a session, okay? Alrighty, so what is the energy surrounding my Virgos? general energy surrounding my Virgos. Okay, so first card we have is the Four of Wands. So I love the Four of Wands. This is the energy of celebration, marriage, um, family units, and all those things. Um, this is also about securing a foundation in terms of creativity, okay? You usually see this card come up for like entrepreneurs who like support themselves financially through like creativity or like through creative means. So with the four of wands, um, first thing I'm seeing for my Virgos, this is like trying to build financial abundance for yourself through creative means. So if you're somebody who's good at a uh, tarot, if you're a tarot reader yourself, this is trying to secure yourself to where you can, you know, put out messages and also help people. Um, this is if you, you know, sell jewelry, trying to make enough to sustain yourself and still be able to create um, and so on and so forth. Whatever business you may have, this is you having a hyper focus on how you can have that stability and still create. Also, with the four of wands, um, there may be some sort of celebration that may be taking place. This may be more of like a family cookout or family re reunion or a little get together um, for a family member, especially like, say, for instance, you have a family member who has a baby on the way. This could be like a baby shower or something to that extent. Um, some of you also may be um, planning like a wedding or getting ready to get married, especially if you are engaged. OMG, all these cards flying everywhere. This is a newer deck. This is an anime deck. Virgos. We have the wheel. Oh my gosh, all the cards are falling. So with the wheel, this would be like the wheel of fortune, but I think that there's a hyper focus on you and somebody who you may have children with fixing the foundation of your relationship. This could be someone you were married to at one point um, and you guys like co-parent or somebody you just had a very serious relationship with um, and you guys had children and you could be realizing that the relationship you and the mother or the father of your children may have may be affecting your child directly, like actually putting them It's putting them at a disadvantage because now they're having to basically suffer in the process of you guys not getting along. Hmm. Some of you may also have a twin flame connection come back around. This may be with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This may be on your mind too, if it isn't like physically coming back around. Like some of you may actually want this person to come back around. And if that's not you, again, take what resonates and what doesn't resonate, okay? There is people out here who still want their ex just because you may not want them doesn't mean that there's not people out there. Now let's continue pulling the cards. We have the Four of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, hmm... You may also have to go into a space of introspection or sit on some things in terms of a very confusing relationship dynamic or friends with benefits dynamic. It's like you're getting a lot of mixed signals from this individual where they're like telling you all these things and almost presenting a whole bunch of illusions in a sense and you needing to sit on what exactly is going on and make sense of it. Um... Hmm. 
some of you are on like a a break from speaking to your person if, and if anything it may have actually confused you even more in terms of you going through different ranges of emotions like one day you may wake up and be like you know what forget that person I'm never getting back with them I don't want them back into my life and then the next second it's like oh well I miss him I want him back I want this person back into my life so there could be like a disconnect because it's like you're going through all these different emotions per se. But anyhow, um, hmm. there also may be some ideas that you're sitting on, like creative ideas. You may have so many things that you're interested in, um, that you're pushed and pulled mentally about like you may consider okay I want to go down this career path I want to go down this I want to go down that and for some reason you can't quite pinpoint what that's going to look like for you I see you guys also trying to work on your health your craft especially if you have some sort of talent here like creating jewelry or doing something. This is you trying to work on getting better at that. Let me pull two of these. And then let's pull one from here. What is the energy surrounding my Virgos? Okay, we have growth. So this is the energy of you guys growing up. This is you guys having new perspectives, outgrowing situations as well and being able to recognize where you energetically don't fit in with certain experiences anymore or certain people almost um you guys also may be growing in terms of like your spiritual growth and learning new things especially if you're new on your spiritual journey you may be realizing that a lot of the spiritual Journey as a whole has a lot to do with self-accountability. It really has nothing to do with how many crystals you know, how many crystals you have in your house. I mean, that's a part of spirituality, but real spirituality is being able to hold yourself accountable and to have a personal relationship with spirit or with God, okay? Now, the other two cards that we do have here... We have be assertive. So this is speaking to you, speaking up for yourself, building better out, uh, boundaries. This is saying no when you don't want to do something and saying yes when you do. This is you being clear about what you will and will not allow people to do to you. And this is your aura actually exuding this. Being assertive isn't necessarily like cussing people out and telling them, look, I'm not going to take your shit. I mean, that that is one thing. But it's more of you carrying the energy of, look, don't try me. <laughs> don't try to take advantage of me. Almost, okay? And then we also have peaceful resolution. So this is speaking to any problems that you may have at this moment. It will be resolved. There's a need for you to also make sure, though, that on your end that you're doing your best to keep things peaceful, especially if it has anything to do with another person. So this is avoiding confrontational arguments or, you know, even feeding into somebody's pettiness if they're trying to bring this energy to you because things will be resolved peacefully if things are done correctly. So this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective for you. If you did enjoy, make sure you do thumbs this video up and subscribe. Also, like I said, if you want to see more of my um, daily readings, make sure that you're locked in on my Instagram and my Twitter. I do post daily messages or daily horoscopes on there now. Um, so that will be Mystical Crystal on Twitter and Mystical Crystal Tarot on Instagram. And like I said, I will have it listed below on my link tree, but thank you. I will see you in the next one.